Hey guys, so today we're making some Jamaican style oxtails. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started with the recipe. So right here, I am cleaning my oxtails with some lemon juice and some vinegar, and then I just trim the fat off of it. You're not gonna be able to get all of it, but make sure you get as much off as possible. And now I am going to season my oxtails I don't care what seasonings you use, just make sure your food is not bland. We don't want no bland food, y'all. Okay, so there are a few seasonings that I do want you to put in there. So I put some onion powder, garlic powder, salt, some allspice, some paprika, some ground ginger, some thyme leaves, and uh, some all-purpose seasoning. And then I have some Worcestershire sauce, and then I'm going to put in some browning sauce and so we're going to mix all of this together because we're going to marinate our oxtails um i would say marinate for at least two hours um but overnight is ideal i think i marinated mine for about six hours and so i also added in some fresh thyme some onions some bell peppers some garlic cloves and i let that marinate so right here I have about three tablespoons of dark brown sugar and I am just browning it and so this is how you can make browning if you don't have the browning sauce and so I saw this on somebody else's YouTube and she was Jamaican y'all and so since I put the kitchen bouquet browning on there you don't have to do the brown sugar um, browning step but she said it adds a nice depth of flavor and i believe her because these oxtails were so good y'all like <laughs> i haven't had oxtails in a long time but these were like really good and so i just browned the oxtails on all sides and then now i am adding in some beef broth and then i'm going to mix a little bit of water in there just until um it covers the top of the oxtails and then i'm just adding in that garlic and thyme and bell peppers and onions and then I'm also going to add in uh, some green onions and then um, a habanero pepper. Now, I know the recipe calls for a scotch bonnet, but I don't know where to find no scotch bonnet. So there's that. And so I let my oxtail simmer for about three, three and a half hours. It is going to take some hours, so start early. And so as that reduced down, I ended up adding in some large butter beans towards the end of the cooking time. So maybe like the last 30 to 40 minutes, I added in one can of butter beans. And then I'm also adding in one Roma tomato that I crushed up. And then you're just gonna stir that and let it reduce down some more. Look how tender that oxtail is, y'all. Oh my goodness, this was so good. And so of course I served this with some mac and cheese, some cabbage, some plantains, and some rice and peas. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye.